टेल यू स्टोरी फ्रॉम बैक इन नाइनटीन when we began the era of digital advertising. Yes, that's how long ago it goes. That's when, uh, for the first time, the large-scale online advertising platform was set up by a company called as Open Market. Open Market's platform enabled companies to create and run ads on website, uh, on mm. email. Mm. At uh, the time in 1990s, these ads used to pretty much look like your print ads because that's when the era was starting, right? What Open Market did was remarkable. because in traditional advertising we were unable to track how many people saw the ad how many people clicked through the ad and how many people bought the product pretty much it was all vague we used to spend millions and millions of marketing dollars without knowing which dollars are working right so yeah open market came up with this technology to not only run ads digitally but also measure how many people are seeing them how many people are clicking through it and how many people are consuming the product this kind of started shaking the advertising industry and more players like google ads facebook ads started coming in by uh, using the same formula of measurement with these joints not only they grew in size but also in the quality from just having measurement they started me- uh, including more attributes and more nuance to digital advertising right from your location based targeting to having more demographic and more nuanced information uh, about the user to showcasing ads uh, at an equals to one level we can, where we can show each individual a different kind of ad So this journey has been really exciting. I would like to share some stats before we delve deeper. Now let's see digital ad spending worldwide uh, from 2018 to 2023. So if you see this black graph represents digital ad spending and you see that how it has changed from back then to now. Let's see what happened in 1994. It was the era where typically literally people used to put their a uh, traditional form of marketing ads uh, into digital banner ads in the form of banner ads the click through rate used to go up out of the roof because the competition was super low literally this is how people used to call out their cta and this is actually the time when cookies were invented to help track user behavior in simple terms cookie is like a spy who is uh, spying around you is tracking whatever you do online it stores information and it sends information about your browsing history browsing patterns and what you're looking on internet now let's talk about how this changed the advertising industry well before you were still showing all the ads to all the people before without precisely knowing their preferences now you know that people who are going and looking up on the internet for shopping clothes you are able to show them ads related to clothes shopping you are also not only you are able to do more targeted advertisement by knowing their location their search history time of the day day they have looked up information but also you are actually able to track conversion more effectively While the world of advertisements uh, was going strong in 1995 Yahoo is launched and becomes the primary search engine for the web. And then 1996 introduction of Flash and Flash kind of turned around the advertising industry visuals by including motion advertisements. And right after that that the term content marketing is introduced by American Society of Newspaper. and then 1997 we discover on what now we consider as super annoying ads which is pop up ads pop up ads kind of uh, actually grab a lot of attention and receive higher ctrs but yeah that's when it was found and there comes google google search engine that rules the world today and today there are a lot more um evolved form of advertising that you see is a mixture of a lot of businesses who kept innovating go to dot com brings the concept of pay per click placement searches in 1999 this kind of shifted the advertising attention towards paid search and pay per click advertising for the first time came into existence to in 2000 google adwords is born 
yes that's how old is google adwords um this invested is sort of paper click advertising model learning from its uh, predecessor this is also when mobile advertising made uh, its debut and 2001 was that unfortunate period when the dot com bubble bursted and there was a slump and recession for this duration 2002 by this time we had ample and more advertising solution and as you know every time there is an innovation there is exploitation of that innovation and then come follows how to um, curb that exploitation so similarly by uh, this time we had more and more ads coming in and the internet was getting polluted by all these advertisement pop ups flash ads and what not there was also a lot of fraud happening with the help of these ads so comes the need based ad blocker well the times were going exciting on one side increasing number of ads and then on the other side increasing number of ways to control these ads that's when social media uh, marketing picked up social media marketing existed for a really long time but now finally it uh, came into a further more fine tuned way existence via linkedin in 2003 so now google wanted to wanted more and more properties to show ad so google acquired google ads sense that remarkably changed the way google showed ads right it kind of gave google a lot of properties to show ads so in 2003 google acquired adsense that what adsense essentially did was added a lot of blogs and sites to google's network where bloggers like you and i could allow our uh, blog properties or websites to google to showcase ad relevant to uh, for example if i have a blog related to fashion google was was now able to show ads related to fashion on my uh, website or blogs and in exchange of showing those ads i would get money uh, whenever those ads are showcased while google was battling uh, with search engine yahoo and uh, the relatively linkedin was new kid on the block in 2004 we saw facebook ads facebook coming in in the picture and one interesting and fun fact is initially facebook ad platform uh, the first facebook ad used to be called facebook flyer yes facebook advertising facebook ads etc came in much later in a much evolved form but uh, yeah the first ad used to be called facebook flyer the time was going just exciting and that's when youtube as a search engine got launched and made a significant impact on the advertising industry that's when broadband came into picture before this internet used to be super slow if you remember having devices mobile devices then you would remember tiny screen mobile devices very pixelated very slow internet but broadband came into picture and things started changing up even uh, at a faster pace 2006 is when uh, ads started becoming hyper targeted facebook introduced interest based targeting making it even more and more user focused so that user don't really feel annoyed by these ads what happened after that is 2007 google acquired double click for 3.1 billion a software that transformed the online advertising that's when iphone is introduced and that kind of brought major a uh, change in advertising industry 2008 is when iphone app store releases that kind of gave us marketers a lot of opportunity to create apps and promote our brand in a whole new way 2009 google introduces instant to support real time search engine results this is kind of the year when we were undergoing a huge recession globally but still digital advertising was growing 2010 when apple launches first generation ipads that kind of changed user experience how we used to consume uh, digital content 2010 is when instagram was launched 2011 is snapchat uh, uh, when it is launched and 2012 we finally enter into the age of internet of things what is real time bidding bidding in ads you ask nadi well real time bidding in terms of say in a layman's language think about it like game of musical chairs you have different different chairs um the music starts and everyone starts running around the musical chair 
but uh, there are lesser number of chairs so when the music stop stops uh, only few people get to sit these people are higher bidders so on, in the real time people who actually bid high they are able to get the seat and advertise in front of their super relevant customers the only thing to note here is that here instead of quickest bidder it is the one who is actually paying more who is contextually uh, right and uh, who is of course uh, and so on so forth and when when a winning advertise when a winning bid is decided the ad is served to a contextual user so yeah that's about real time bidding 2013 real time marketing instagram releases promoted post 2014 focus has shifted to uh, in app mobile advertising those tiny ads you see while playing games or using certain free apps um then 2015 mobile traffic overtakes web traffic now you see 80% of traffic in 2023 80 to 90% will be mobile based right uh, because the internet started getting faster and faster and in 2016 pokemon if you remember crossed 45 million users pokemon was a crazy game uh, at once upon a time 2017 um, ads text is introduced by the iab that improved the transparency of the programmatic system of uh, buyers this was a ongoing challenge um for marketers we didn't know what kind of money we are spending where we are spending and how all these bidding processes happen etc and this kind of brought in a lot of clarity 2018 is when voice technology released this kind of made internet accessible to people who were not able to read and write um the gdpr goes into effect in may that changed the way businesses collected and stored data and in 2019 we all know that uh, internet of things artificial intelligence and virtual virtual reality changed a lot for marketing and as we speak today today we are living in the world of hyper personalization micro segmentation chat gpts where uh, machine learning algorithms are writing blogs video scripts code and what not so yeah we are living in a very very exciting time that's all about uh, a short history of digital advertising and what a long way it has come to today google operates at a level where it is able to uh, show content or copy basis uh, what best fits the user that's the age we live in so that's all for now this is nidhi singh signing off from this is digital marketing if you have any queries or questions or recommendations Do comment and let me know and do subscribe for more videos like this.